Welcome to your mechanic. Today here on your mechanic, we have a 2020 Honda Civic. This Honda Civic has the 1.5 liter turbocharged motor, and we have a check engine light on. According to the instrument cluster, it is saying that it is an emissions issue. So we have an OBD2 scanner hooked up. The car in the run position, but not started. It's the you can you can scanner. Uh, you can too. We're at the home screen here. You know, select diagnostic. Uh, select the vehicle, which is a Honda. Now we'll pick the smart VIN. The smart VIN will pick up what vehicle it is. Then we're going to do uh, the control module. Select the engine control module option. Now it's checking the engine control module, seeing what the uh, DC DTC is. And now we will select. And we have the 92-4. Um, it's the DTC for the EVAP canister purge valve circuit. We have a malfunction in the circuit. So the purge valve is this unit right here. We have one electrical connector that goes to it. We have a bolt here and a bolt right here that are 10 millimeter, as well as this 10 millimeter nut here that holds this bracket with this portion of vacuum line. We will go uh, over that process. So we'll need to remove these two bolts, remove this nut, and we'll be able to pull this up a little bit. And then we will undo these two connectors here. And then the bottom one will get undone once we get this up to be able to get all these vacuum lines off. So we'll undo the electrical connector. We're gonna do a good visual inspection on seeing that there's that these connections are, are good and uh, connected. Nothing that has fried it. Um, we did have an electrical EVAP. If it was the EVAP code because this wasn't connected, then we would just connect it and, and recheck. But the electrical one could easily mean something has gone bad inside here. And so we are gonna go ahead and take it off, go through the process to be able to replace. So that nut um, gets that off and gives us some movement so that when we take these two out, these two bolts, this will come up and we get the space to be able to undo. Using a pair of pliers, squeeze these clamps a little bit. Right, work that one off. That vacuum line off. We'll remove those two bolts. Those two bolts undone. We now have access to remove the whole purge valve system. And so we can undo this connector here. Is the uh, removal of the old purge valve? Get a new one and put that in. So we, we have our uh, our new uh, purge valve here to be able to put back on. So first, we'll put that one that goes on the bottom. Press it in, and then get the clamp to do the clamp, and then we can now set this in. And we'll just go ahead and put the uh, two 10 millimeter bolts in that hold it here. Get everything started there. And then also put this one in there. We have our 10 millimeter nut that we need to put on there. Right, they are uh, good stuck. Um, we can go ahead and up our electric connector, make sure we do that. Then we put these vacuum lines back on and move the clamps into place. And that will be the replacement of our purge valve on our 20 Honda Civic with 1.5 liter motor in it. Now let's go and clear the codes out of the ECU and start the vehicle and make sure it is clear. Um, the symptoms are, you're going to have a bit of a rough idle a lot of times with that, but with the purge valve going back. Turn the key back on into the on run position, but the vehicle not started. And then uh, we still have our scanner hooked up, and so now we are in the function where we can erase that code. Uh,